Let's think about Chicago. A crime-ridden, corrupt, dysfunctional hellhole. Well, it's a standard line in Darren Bailey's speeches as he campaigns for governor. But now there is a twist. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, reports. The Republican nominee for governor's long lived on a farm 250 miles south of Chicago. Today, State Senator Darren Bailey said during the campaign he's also been staying at an apartment on North Michigan Avenue. I have immersed myself in the culture of Illinois that I knew nothing about because I know that I must do that if we're going to lead this state and make it the great state and the great city that it deserves to be. Speaking on a West Loop sidewalk where he said two tourists were robbed at gunpoint, Bailey blamed increased crime on Democratic Governor J.B. Pritzker. And Bailey referenced a bloody horror story franchise in which people kill each other with no legal consequences. Chicago is living the purge. When, crimi when criminals ravage at will and the cops are told to stand down. Members of the General Assembly's Jewish caucus slammed Bailey's meeting with the Palestinian American Club of Suburban Bridgeview. They seek to overturn a 2017 state law punishing companies who boycott Israel. And their map relabels Israel as Palestine. He's the issue here is he stood in front of a map knowingly, willingly, intentionally, that explicitly wipes Israel off the map. I strongly support Israel. I always have and I always will, but I will listen to everyone who wants to come to the table and talk. Darren Bailey's move here is not a real surprise. Whether or not he actually considers Chicago a hellhole, more than two-thirds of the state's voters live in this area. And as a candidate for governor, he'll have to spend a lot of time here between now and November 8th. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.